Hi, welcome to the third installment of our Lockout Tagout Claims Case Study Series. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the financial implications of this claim. So as you have already learned, this individual ended up with an amputated finger due to improper lockout tagout procedures. So let's take a look at a breakdown of some of the costs that go into paying for a claim like this. So we officially closed this claim last year and we came out with a grand total of about $140,000 of total incurred costs. Now we had about $95,000 in medical bills alone. That was to cover um, two separate surgeries, intensive physical therapy, numerous doctor's visits, and um, emergency room and ambulance services at the time. We also had another $36,000 in indemnity payments because the injured worker ended up missing about a year and a half away from work and also ended up receiving a small settlement <coughs> due to the extent of their injury. And then we had another $10,000 of other costs. And the reason for that was because the injured worker originally hired an attorney when they, when they were first injured, but they decided against it at a later date. So we still had to end up hiring our own attorney in the very beginning to combat that. So we still had to cover those costs. So as you can see, an amputation of any kind can be quite costly. And that's not even taken into the uh, financial implications that it actually takes on the company. For example, any, any amputation is required to be to reported to OSHA within 24 hours. So there could have been numerous OSHA fines associated with this claim, possible increased insurance rates due to the cost of this claim. Um, hiring and replacing this employee is also going, to cost the also going to cost the company money. So as you can see, there's always more hidden costs on the surface than just what goes into paying for a claim. And oftentimes these hidden costs can end up being more costly than the original injury itself. Again, we want to thank you for watching our, uh, the final installment of our Lockout Tagout Claims Case Study Series. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our safety videos.